the sign that your Mars is in, in your chart, tells you how you like to take physical action as well as what some of your innate talents are. But not only is there a sign that your Mars is in, but there's also a house. So if you just discovered that your Mars or someone you know's Mars is in their fourth house, watch this video where I'm gonna cover everything you need to know. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Isabel, and today I wanna to talk about Mars in the fourth house. In this video specifically, I'm going to cover what Mars is in our birth chart and in astrology, what the fourth house is, the difference between the sign and the house in a chart and how this applies, of course, to Mars, as well as Mars in the fourth house briefly through the 12 zodiac signs and potential good career paths for Mars in fourth house. Because knowing the house your Mars is in is going to dictate where your talents will best be directed. And so if you're looking for a career path, if you're looking for a different path of work, this can really help you. So let's start off by talking about the basics of what Mars is. And you can check out the timestamps below if you wanna just jump to the Mars in fourth house interpretation. If you're already familiar with Mars, if you know the difference between a sign and a house, if you know what the fourth house is and you just want the interpretation, check out the timestamps below in the description. And before I get any further, make sure you hit the link in the description below to book a one-on-one -on -one reading where we dive deep into your chart as well as your unique personality type combination, the Enneagram, your Myers-Briggs, your numerology, and so much more. If you wanna dive deeper into yourself, if you have areas of life where you're struggling and you want to improve, if you're interested in learning more, you can book a reading. Link is in the description below. So what is Mars? Mars is masculine energy in our chart. It goes hand in hand with Venus, the planet of divine femininity is what I like to think of it as. And so regardless of our gender, we have the capacity of this masculine and feminine energy within us. It represents this duality, our ability to take action and our ability to receive, our ability to be linear and disciplined in some way or fashion, and our ability to just soften and not think, so to say. So masculine energy is Mars. Mars is all about the masculine and what is in the end masculine energy that is our ability to take action. It's very much yang energy, so to say. And so Mars in our chart represents how we like to take action, the way in which we take action that we're naturally good at. And of course, because of that, our natural talents. This has a lot to also do with our physical vitality. So not only is it how we like to move through life, but it shows us what gives us physical energy. So for example, if you are a Mars in Aries, you're going to feel a strong sense of physical vitality the more you're acting on impulse, the more you are channeling this impulsive, bold, brave, independent energy. But not only is there a sign that your Mars is in, there is a house. And the house that your Mars is in is going to tell you where you feel the most physical energy. It's also going to indicate to you where you find the most physical strength. In career terms, Mars being our action and our talents this is something to embrace in our career and whatever sign and house is in is going to tell us what energy to embrace and what kind of area of life we should be working with. So for example, if your Mars was in your 10th house, this is the stereotypical, you need to be a CEO, you need to have a high level of recognition, be in some sort of authority. If it was in 11th house, you would need to be more community focused in some form or fashion. If it was in your first house, you need to work solo. And so the house your Mars is in will tell you where to channel this physical energy as well as just simply where you'll gain physical energy, not even in career setting, but what gives you a sense of physical strength, where you can find your most physical strength. And of course, just get in alignment with the way you like to take action. By understanding your Mars, you can, as much as Mars is about physical action and strength, but when you embrace your Mars, you move through life easily rather than trying to go contradictory to your natural nature. So really quick, before I get into all of the fourth house, I wanted to quickly cover the difference between a sign and a house for those who get confused. Because if you're like me, when I first started learning about this, I was so confused at the difference between a sign and a house, especially because my Mars was in Gemini and six. So it was saying you're scattered, but yet you're stable. You're mentally active, but also much more health focused and sensitive. And I was kind of thinking, okay, that's true, but it just sounds like it's contradicting. The way I like to summarize it is the following. The sign is the energy, the house is where it shows up. It's really important to remember that the houses, the 12 houses in astrology are simply the 12 different areas of our life. Whereas the 12 zodiac signs are 12 archetypal energies that we can embrace. 
And yes, each house was built by a different zodiac sign. So Aries built the first, Taurus built the second house, Gemini built the third house, Cancer built the fourth house, and so on. But these are, in the end, areas of life. The houses are areas of life. They're not necessarily this archetypal energy. The houses also drastically change how you interpret yourself and your chart based off of where it, each house is and what sign it's in and what planets are in what houses. Because these are the 12 different areas of our life. And we know that maybe the person we are with our romantic partner is not the same persona as who we are with our family. The houses give really great insight into how sometimes separation is needed. And when we understand what parts of our personality get fulfilled in what areas of life, then things can come easier. Such as your Mars. Knowing where your Mars energy wants to be channeled the most can be beneficial. Also, just simply noting that whenever we have a planet in a certain house, it puts a higher value on that area of life. So in the case for the fourth house, you're going to value family and home life more. So what exactly is the fourth house? house. The fourth house is the house of home and family. It was created by Cancer. Cancer is the fourth archetype of the zodiac wheel. It is our first water sign. It represents the initiation of emotion. And how do we do that? Through connection with our parental figures, through family, through home. We find an emotional sense of security, not just a physical sense of security. And that first emotional sense of nurturance that we interact with in the world is through our parents. Specifically through our mother is the idea with Cancer being the mother archetype. But this is about the fourth house. So in the end, when Cancer had to build a house based off of what they value, they built the house of home and family. Home and family. So the fourth house has everything to do with family life. So this could be relatives, siblings, parents, grandparents, ancestors, um, but it's also the physical side of home. So this could be the place you literally live, um, your hometown, the place, the, the town in which you call home, your physical building that you live in that you call home, or maybe even your childhood home. So it's the physical aspect of home and the familial bloodline aspect of home. So what does it mean for us to have the fourth house be where Mars is residing in our chart, regardless of what sign it's in. I felt like that light was coming through my window and just blinding my chest and making it look really annoyingly contrasting. So I had to fix that really quick. But if your Mars is in your fourth house, this means that you find your physical strength in your home life. This is an interesting contradiction of a placement because Mars naturally rules over Aries. So there is a correlation between Mars energy and Aries energy, which is very bold and strong and Mars is named after the god of war, so we think challenge and determination and discipline and strength and assertion and possibly even aggression. But the fourth house is all about this nurturing, soft home and family life. So when Mars, this assertive planet, is in the fourth house, it can feel a little bit weird in the sense that your sense of strength and masculinity can be much more of a soft expression. Depending on though the sign that is in can change this interpretation slightly. So for example, if you have a Mars in Aries and in fourth house, yes, you're still gonna be a Mars in Aries, that's all gonna apply, but you're gonna channel this energy and show it in your home life the most. But regardless, what this means is your masculine energy feels the most safe to embrace when you are in your home life and family life. And this could mean either with your family members, such as siblings and parents and the family you're raised with, or it can mean the family that you've created, your own children or your partner with that, or it could just be physically at home. If you're not someone who necessarily feels super secure with your home and family, this could be your physical home. You feel the most energy when you are at home. With a Mars in a fourth house, what I've noticed with these people is that they have very strong family values, especially because this is masculine energy. And so this has some bit to do with leadership. And so these people can oftentimes find themselves, whether that's in the family they've created or through their work, leading families by showing them their values for family. So whatever sign your Mars is in, in fourth house, is going to tell you what you value in family life. And then you're going to try to replicate and show that. Or you may try to offer that to other families. People with a Mars in fourth house, I have noticed, end up getting into lines of work where they are dealing with families. 
But regardless, a Mars in fourth house means that you feel the most physical strength at home and you need to have a secure home in order to find your sense of physical strength and to take action. You want your actions to revolve around feeling a sense of security with your family and home life. So these people can be very driven towards comfort or very driven to create more comfort. And this is not just about physical indulgence, so to say. This is not about having the luxury tables and the nice curtains or whatever. This is more so about creating an emotional safe space for them. And this is especially true if your moon is in the same sign as your Mars. Regardless, even if that's not the case, the Mars in fourth house means that your action wants to be driven towards home life, towards family life. You may want to spend more time with family or you may feel more strength when you're with your family. I think it's very important for people to Mars in fourth house to be interacting with family members on a day-to-day basis, potentially, or having fam- familial interactions scheduled into their life. And if you're not close with your family, this could simply mean having your downtime at home. So what about Mars in fourth house through the signs? It would take a really long time to go through all 12 signs, but I wanna talk about just general themes with each element because narrowing it down to an element can help a lot. So for example, if your Mars is in fourth house and in a water sign, it's the fourth house naturally is cancer. And so water sign energy is gonna feel good for the fourth house, but a little weird for Mars itself. And what this means is that you're gonna be emotionally driven to create a sense of security at home. I think the idea of feeling secure and comfortable and relaxed and nurtured at home is gonna be even more emphasized with any water Mars. So if you are a Pisces Mars, a Scorpio Mars or a Cancer Mars, you're gonna be driven by your emotions in your day-to-day life and you're gonna be driven to create more emotional comfort at home, whether that's your physical home or with family and people in places that feel like home. If you are a Air Mars, you're gonna be driven to creating a sense of a mental connection with your family members or even a sense of getting to use your home as a place for learning. Mars Air Energy, which is Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini is going to be someone who wants to learn as they go. They learn through doing. They want to socialize more. They get energy from socializing in some form or fashion, and they're going to be great communicators or have this sociable, welcoming energy that people notice. But when this is in the fourth house, this means that you're going to feel more inclined to socializing um, with family or even networking with families. I think as far as the interpretation of how exactly this plays out, as I mentioned earlier, with values, um, if you're an Air Mars, you're going to try to bring values of open-mindedness and more data-focused, proactive growth to families in a career. Whereas if you're a Water Mars, you're going to try to bring emotional support and security to families. If you are a fire Mars, such as Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, and also in the fourth house, you're going to be or want to be very bold in your family life. You're wanting to be seen, be assertive. You probably felt like or feel like that being bold and passionate and playful is uh, in your home life. is That's where you get to embrace that energy. Your home life is where you get to be this most courageous version of yourself, this most bold version of yourself, this most passionate version of yourself. And it also means that you're going to value being assertive and confident in families and try to nurture that with other families. This could also mean too that for you, home life is about living a passionate life. You want your home to serve the purpose of fueling your passions. And finally, if you have your Mars in an earth sign and in fourth house, such as Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, you're going to see home as a physical security. Probably the emphasis on the interpretation I've been giving where it's not necessarily always family, but it's your home. Your physical home is going to be important for you. You want your life to revolve around coming back to home, being secure in home. You probably enjoy tidying up your home to some degree and creating habits from home. So what kind of career paths could potentially be good for someone who has their Mars in their fourth house? In the end, with Mars in the fourth house, this revolves around channeling your energy and taking action in matters related to family and home. And so with that, there's two major aspects that I see playing out for those who have a Mars in fourth house. You're either dealing with physical homes or with families, or you're working with family. So I guess three different aspects. So option one, these people could do good working with other family members. If your parents or relatives 
have businesses, being a part of family owned businesses or your family's business could be very beneficial to you, which gives more of a broad interpretation and less tailored to the idea of, so to say, your Mars in fourth house talents. You should be embracing whatever your sign your Mars is in, in that business regardless. Another option, of course, is because this is the house of home, real estate, and anything dealing with homes, whether that's cleaning homes or building homes or selling homes, you could all be good a career paths potentially for a Mars in fourth house. Again, depending on the sign it's in, we'll tell you what exact role you should play. But anything related to home selling, home upkeeping, home building, dealing with physical homes could be very rewarding for you. Also with that, there is that aspect of the fourth house that is family. So anything dealing with and nurturing families, this could be therapy for families, this could be coaching for families. You want to work with families and help them nurture them in some way or another, depending on the sign it's in. So working with families in some sort of coaching or consulting could be beneficial to you as well. So hopefully that gave you guys a pretty good overview of what it means to have your Mars in your fourth house in your chart. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. What sign is your fourth house Mars in? What's your interpretation of this combination? What line of work are you in as a Mars in fourth house? And do you find it fulfilling? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I'm sure other Mars in fourth house are looking for a career path. And so sharing what you're doing could be very helpful to them. So comment below, be sure to share this video with someone who may have a Mars in fourth house placement or someone who is interested in astrology or looking for new career path options. Share this video with them and be sure to subscribe to YouTube channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Last quick note is if you like these interpretations and you find yourself saying, I wish I could interpret like that or I wish I could make my own astrological interpretation so I'm not always researching and then getting confused and then researching and getting confused, then I invite you to check out my astrology course, The Master Astrologer, in the link in the description below where I teach you everything I've learned about astrology in a clear, cohesive, linear fashion to avoid overwhelm and live your purpose. If you're interested in learning more, check it out. Link is in the description below. And if you want to get half off the course, Comment the words in all caps, Master Astrologer, in the comments below, and I will send you the information on how you can get 50% off the Master Astrologer course. Link is in below to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sincerely hope you enjoyed. Once again, my name is Isabel, and from my heart to yours, namaste.